Senator Jim Mullen has warned that Australia could suffer as collateral damage if a U.S. and China war broke out. NSW Senator Jim Mullen warned that Australia is unlikely to come out on top if it engaged in a war with China. While speaking to Sky News Australia with Chris Smith, he said China had the capacity to destroy Australia. He had previously claimed that China could defeat Australia in two days. He also said Australia could end up as collateral damage in any conflict in the region. He added that the U.S. may choose to not engage with China at all and Taiwan could simply fall to China. Mr. Chris Smith said, Last week you were talking about the fact that even $270 billion in new military hardware won't save us. This is because if China wants to wage war with us if we join the U.S. in this region, we will be over and done within about two days. Are you still that confident there will be a full-scale war in the Pacific led by China? Mr. Mullen clarified that he did not believe that a war was definitely set to occur. However, he did note it was a possibility due to the tensions in the region. He replied, I don't think we can be confident that war will occur. It is possible because everyone is armed and it is likely because so much is going on, but it is not inevitable. My fear is that a war between China and the U.S. may occur and we get made collateral damage. Or, even more frightening, the U.S. because it hasn't won a war game in the last couple of years over a Taiwan scenario. The fear being that the U.S. does not engage and Taiwan falls, that is the big worry. While admitting a war with China was not inevitable, he has previously admitted the chance of war breaking out grows each day. Speaking on a Chinese spy ship that arrived on Australia's coast, this is a reminder to each and every one of us that war is not only possible because everyone is armed to the teeth, it is not just likely, but it is also becoming more likely every single day. We have just seen the most appalling threats made by China towards Japan that they would use nuclear weapons against them. They have made similar threats to us as well. They didn't say they would use nukes but rather their big missiles. Beijing's biggest threat exposed and closer than President Xi Jinping thinks. China's President Xi Jinping has been warned that he faces threats a lot closer to home than the South China Sea, an expert has claimed. China has been building up its defenses in the South China Sea to ward off any attack on the disputed waters which they claim to own. But associate fellow with the Asia Pacific program at Chatham House, Bill Hayden, has said President Xi Jinping faces domestic issues more than attacks in the region. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Mr. Hayden said, There isn't really any threat at all to China in the South China Sea which is why I find its actions difficult to understand. I think its biggest threats are domestic in terms of making sure its own people are happy. Nobody has anybody desire to invade China. All we see is coastal countries like Vietnam and the Philippines trying to protect their fishing, oil, and gas industries and ships from foreign countries sailing through the South China Sea. I don't think there's really a threat to China from the sea at the moment. It's more China is taking this assertive, maybe even aggressive role towards its neighbors and other countries and that's creating pushback. Former conservative leader Ian Duncan Smith has said he believes he has become the target of a direct threat from the Chinese government. Mr. Duncan Smith said his work with the Interparliamentary Alliance on China made him a target. Sir Ian told the Commons, I understand now there is intelligence from the Five Eyes sources that there is now a very active and direct threat from the Chinese government aimed directly at the co-chairs of the Interparliamentary Alliance on China. Some of these co-chairs, of which I am one, have now been warned by their intelligence services in receipt of this that they should be very careful and that they will be supported. Can I ask, Mr. Cleverly, if his government is in receipt of this same intelligence and if so, why have they not informed the co-chairs and others here in the UK like other allies have done? Foreign Office Minister James Cleverly replied, 
He will understand that we don't discuss on the floor of the chamber intelligence related issues, but I take the point that he makes about making sure that people who are potentially a target of overseas intelligence actions are given the opportunity to defend themselves against those. Save a deposit, spend years in your job, invest in your education. Thank <laughs> you.